Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft. I, uh, first thing you guys will notice here is that my name is Javier of XGN. And, uh, the reason that is, is one of my friends got on my account that I'm game sharing with. Thought it'd be pretty funny to change my name for me. And, uh, here we are. So, um, yes, if you guys would like to know, Javier is actually my middle name. And so they, I was talking about a name change for a while and they just thought they would do it for me, I guess. Anyway. On to the video. So you see here, this is a sorting system made by a big YouTuber. His name's Twists and all that. This is uh, his design, essentially, and I used it for a while before we moved after we spawned the Wither in another part of this unlimited world of the Exiled Realms for uh, the Exiled Gaming Network. Um, and as you can see, this is kind of big and all this. And this is a giant room that I mined out with my lovely Silk Touch pickaxe. And uh, I mined it out entirely out of here thing about it is that I wanted to create something where I could run a bunch of things from other places and run them into this. Well, if you run all these hoppers into this, it doesn't exactly work unless this thing is on. And so, there again, we have an issue, unfortunately. So, in other words, I decided to do some experimenting to create something else, and I built this. It's a smaller version of the compact thing, except it only doesn't use droppers at all. So here's my lovely little chest, connected with uh, hoppers that go all the way around, as you guys can see back here. This is, uh, this is entirely a legit world. Everything's done on my own here, and it takes a lot. It's all a survival world. But as you can see, all these hoppers run from that chest up there. They run down, they go down in double chest. Same design, it just it does not use a dropper at all, which cut back some space by a long shot. So, essentially, I'll leave a link to in the description to uh, the twist the video, but if you take glowstone here and all this stuff, you just stick it all in here. Eventually, it goes in there without the need for a dropper anywhere. It eventually makes its way in there. It may take a little while, but there it is. I did not create, however, a trash chest. His video can show you a little more about, you know, junk and all that stuff. Considering I probably would never have the need for a junk chest, I did not create one. The idea of this of this room is to make it almost 25 blocks high. According, we're pretty far down underground right now. And uh, to use it, we're going to use droppers and all that stuff to create up and send items upward that will be sorted manually. Everything here I just have is pretty normal and all that stuff, and I mean it works out great. So for like, for instance, the whole idea is, is um, we'll get back totally to the whole building of the other thing, but the whole idea was to just put this in here and then for it to just run down all these hoppers, jump down here, and this thing will turn on when it starts doing its thing. There it is. Then after that, it will appear, as you can see. But if you guys notice, there's a lot of space. You need a lot of space. There's um, This redstone cannot interact with this or it just completely throws it off. So as you can see, there's a lot of problems here and all. And getting rid of this thing allows me to take it back two blocks and all. And that opens up more space for me. Nonetheless, I can also rearrange this stuff and put it down. Make it a little bit nicer and all. But anyway, to the video. Let's... Um, Let's have a look at how exactly we we're supposed to build one of these things. Interesting enough, it's pretty strange. And so, in the works of us building one of these, I will see you back here in just a second while I mine out some a room to build one.